for those of you who don't have powers, I'm going to show you how to make a card wall. The second coming of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus continues right now! <laughs> not that good at dancing but I had to make this epic because as my fans know I have been absent from YouTube for a few months now because I've been moving there has of course still been content on the meme page Twitter TikTok, and I pop into my discord server pretty frequently and we've even been having tournaments on there and I've been giving away signed comments to the winner but I haven't been able to make my triumphant return to YouTube until now with the new card wall being complete let's see if I still have sponsors shall we <laughs> no no for real, go go make sure my codes still work. Uh, enter my code Yuki Jesus on metamats.com or on boardwipe.com for 10% off of your cart. If it still works, seriously, go try it out. Let's start with why make a card wall in the first place. I have had a card wall for pretty much the entire existence of Yugi Nono, so I wanted to make a double card wall for the new studio so that no matter where I move or how many cameras I set up, it's all Yu-Gi-Oh all the time. I of course achieved that immersive effect with the old studio, but the ultimate end goal was always to have one wall completely covered with mats and another completely covered with cards. This was never completely done because the card wall was originally put together in haste to achieve the bare minimum immersive effect for the camera and I never felt like remaking the card wall because it takes a lot of commitment. I didn't even remake it for the second coming because it's that much commitment. Then of course when I figured out that it was time to move, I didn't even bother making the proper modifications to the Yu-Gi-Oh room because I knew I'd be setting up a whole new studio in a whole new house. It was have been a fat waste of time. Card walls are great at covering up evidence of previous decorations whether the damage was caused by you or by previous owners or tenants. You simply put the cards over the damage, similar to how I didn't even bother filling in these screw holes. This means you don't have to fix a wall and therefore you don't have to paint a wall. Possibly terrible advice, I, I, I don't know. The style of this card wall might bother some more organized people, but arranging the cards in a random order creates a more Easter egg hunt like effect that I want from my viewers. That being said, more time could be spent separating monsters, spells, and traps if you feel like going for that look instead of the Easter egg hunt effect that I'm going for. Either way though, you will achieve that immersive Yu-Gi-Oh effect the more cards or other Yu-Gi-Oh product that you use to decorate with. I have been contacted by countless players and fans and have been approached at tournaments by multitudes of people who have asked me how the hell the card wall was done and how the hell I came up with the idea for it. And because I've had this happen so much, I have been able to gather that the Yu-Gi-Oh community at large believes that I invented the card wall. Well, yes, but actually no. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I might have and I might not have. I'm not doing a dive video on YugiTuber channel decorations or who was the first to do what, so I'm just gonna leave this at I might have invented the card wall, but I might not have. I will say though that I have been humbled and honored by all the YugiTubers and Yu-Gi-Oh players out there who have messaged me and commented about how I've been an inspiration for them. And also to the YugiTubers that won't say it. <laughs> I want to take this moment to let them know that they are my inspiration when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. Because if you guys didn't fuel my nostalgia and passion for this game, I wouldn't have come back for the second coming, and I wouldn't have continued the second coming after moving just now. I wouldn't be running this fun brand of Yu-Gi-Oh at all. So I thank all of you again. Next, let's talk about the materials that you'll need to build a card wall. Wall putty, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and a wall. Wow. <sighs> 
You simply take a little piece of the putty and apply it to the back of the card and put it straight onto the wall. It doesn't take that much putty for a card to stick onto the wall either as you'll find out as you go. I started using a lot at first just to show the camera, but then later I used barely at all on the backs of the cards. So just one pack of putty can be stretched pretty damn far. For the new card wall project, I only used about five and a half packs of this Scotch brand wall putty, which were less than $2 each. So a good sized card wall project actually only costs about 10 bucks if you already have all of the cards. And the wall. Oh, you're so fucking sexy today, baby. Now let's talk about possible harm. I know that sounds ridiculous, but be careful on step stools and ladders. I'm glad I got me slipping on camera. Don't wear cabin socks on step stools and ladders, even in your own house. <laughs> Don't be scared of the damage to the paint that you see here. I was renting this house and it was very old and therefore so were the wall panels and paint. The paint came off so easily because of those old wooden panels. On normal drywall with newer paint, wall putty should come off clean without leaving any marks just as they are advertised to do. Also, because of the slight gloss that Yu-Gi-Oh cards have, I have yet to see a card get damaged by wall putty. I threw most of the cards from the old card wall away simply because by and large, they weren't worth the time it would have taken to remove the putty from every single one of those cards, especially when I was moving and trying to get more important things done. So what I'm saying is, from my experience, I would be way more wary of old paints that can peel off of your wall than damage to your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. If you are worried about your cards though, you don't even need to apply the wall putty directly to your cards like how I did. You can simply apply the putty to the back of a card sleeve to get the same effect. Because of this, you can also make a card wall out of foils. As yu gi -No, no fans already know, no, Till runs the TikTok and makes Yu-Gi-Oh content every day. He actually makes two TikToks a day and has been for like two years now. He is a huge part of Yu-Gi-Oh! No lore and he's actually the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! TikToker Hi. out there. But anyways, he also has a card wall and his has foils because he used card sleeves instead of putting valuable holographic trading cards directly onto the wall. Because that would be psychotic. Till would never do anything psychotic. <laughs> nah. Ja, ich spüre den Tanz in mir. La 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 la. Nein, la 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 la. Das ist nicht korrekt. Huh. The reason why I didn't use any rares or foils on this card wall or my old card wall is because of glare. Card sleeves and foil cards reflect more light and cause more glare which causes more problems when recording. Since most of you guys watching this probably don't produce content for YouTube or anywhere else, I wanted to show both methods so that players would know exactly how to put all of their favorite cards up for decoration. I had to navigate around two obstacles to accomplish the finished card wall. One was the windowsill in the room. For that, I went ahead and cut a triangular notch out of a card and applied it to the wall just like all of the others. The second obstacle was the wall socket, which I didn't even need to do anything for except slightly rearrange some cards. And then I compensated accordingly while maintaining the straightest lines that I could in correlation with the rest of the wall. I actually didn't even have to remove the socket fixture because the cards easily slipped in behind it. The smaller wall here is 28 cards high by 19 cards wide, which equals 532 cards. And the bigger wall is 28 cards high by 31 cards wide, which gives you 800 168 cards. So my new card wall contains exactly 1400 cards! Minus about one because of the wall sockets, plus one because of the sideways cards that I put around the wall socket, which is 1400. Let's just subtract another 0.31, let's say, from the card that I had to cut. That'll make it a nice 1399.69. <laughs> or a grand total of 1,400 cards for short. There are almost 1,400 individual cards on the wall as well because I wanted to avoid having duplicates. However, you try digging out your tins, looking through your huge ass collection of commons, and then remembering which cards out of a possible 1,400 that you've duplicated. I'd say that I did a pretty good job. 
But also, finding duplicates adds to the Easter egg hunt like effect that I want out of the card wall for the fans. So in the comments, let me know which duplicates that you found so far. I found at least three so far, and I'll show you an easy one right now to give you a head start. Not only did it take 1400 cards to complete, but when you start off, you don't know that! Unless you measure out your wall and math out how many cards it will take to cover the whole thing and then count out exactly that many cards that you'll need like a NERD! So I kept having to go back to make more pre-puttied cards instead of having all 1400 pre-made in bulk. In short, this Yu-Gi-Oh card wall project could have been comfortably completed by myself in two days, but I decided to be really comfortable and let it take like three or four. If you hustle, one could get a similar project accomplished in a day, even faster than that with a team. So that's everything that you could possibly need to know about card walls. If you have any further questions, I don't know why you would, I'm actually impressed that I've been able to drag the video out this far, but you can message me on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. I wish all of you the best of luck with your Yu-Gi-Oh decorations and with your Yu-Gi-Oh careers. I hope that you all stick around and have some fun with me on Yu-Gi-Oh no, no going forward into the future. <sighs> Man, this is gonna be fun. It still feels like I'm forgetting to unpack something though. My cards are here. Card wall's done. Uh, I'm wrapping up this video. <sighs> ah, if it's important, I'll remember. You forgot about me, you asshole! Let me out! <laughs> Let me out! Harpies aren't fun to play with anymore. Subscribe! <laughs>